So last week my wife's computer decided to blue screen a few times, refuse to boot, etc. Hard drive was uh, slowly failing. So I got to play with some tools I hadn't played with in years. I just did this quick video on it um, and then in the end had to switch over to another tool that I hadn't actually ever used. But we'll get more into that later. So anyways, used Clonezilla here. Um, nothing special on it. It's nice free boot CD that's out there. Uh, ISO's great to use most of the time as long as you're doing this with a drive that isn't failing. So I hadn't used this in years. It took me a few uh, initial boot ups to make sure I was doing what I thought I needed to do. I thought I was smarter than I was and the first time I actually ran this I decided to run it in advance mode and quickly decided that I didn't know what half the features were anymore. And again, I haven't had to do this type of work in years, so not that big a deal. Anyways, the process started just fine. Told it to back up, uh, or actually clone the one hard drive to the other. Had to keep double checking, make sure the serial numbers were the uh, correct one. It didn't help that both drives were exactly two terabytes. There wasn't any nice thing there. But eventually, as it continued to uh, work, it hit this point where it goes, failed to clone, slash dev, slash SD, I think it was A or B, I can't remember which one, uh, 5, which was the main partition that has all the Windows data on it. When I'd been running through it initially, I'd told it not to run uh, the check disk on it, decided after the first time that I ran this, well, maybe, maybe I need to do that. Since it failed, we'll try again. Ran the whole process again, told it to run the check disk on it, still didn't work. I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll go ahead and boot it up uh, normally and let Windows do its check disk on it, uh, mark whatever sectors are a little flaky. Life should be good. Well, that didn't work out too well for me either. Uh, Windows tried to boot and half an hour later it was still spinning, uh, just grinding with the hard drive. And actually, um, during the whole imaging process, it uh, gave you that nice clicking sound in the background. You know your hard drive's about toast at that point in time. Um, the one partition that it did, did uh, successfully clone, which is I think um, 7 to 10 gigs, somewhere in there, took uh, about an hour, hour and a half. Knew, knew that this drive was on its last leg at that point in time, and while I've preached backups to people because of the type of work I do, I don't actually ever uh, typically keep my own backups because my attitude is anything that's on my hard drive, uh, if it goes away it's not that big a deal. My wife on the other hand um, keeps way too many th files on her system. Um, there's music, there's old pictures, etc. So I had to do what I could to recover this. Well, day one of playing with this, or evening one, came to an end, decided I needed to try something different. I talked to one of the guys at work and he recommended um, DD Rescue. Um, I do a lot of drive imaging in general, but I don't typically work with failing drives. And the one issue that we've seen with DD is if it hits a bad sector, sometimes it'll just completely crash out. Um, so, decided to try this new program that technically I guess is not new, new to me, DD Rescue threw the 2 terabyte drive in there, let it start going, and decided I'd better walk away towards the end of the day. When I got back, it was it had taken just shy of 24 hours to image a 2 terabyte hard drive. 99.99% recovery rate, not too many bad sectors, but if you ever have a drive that is failing, running something like DD where it's doing an exact bit-for-bit uh, -bit copy, uh, it's a little rough on the drive, but it's probably one of the only ways you're going to get every single piece of information. So I rolled the dice. In this case, it worked. Threw the new drive in my Weiss machine, booted up just fine, and ran fairly decently. Uh, I had to end up pulling off the AV. It kept choking and just uh, bringing the system to a halt, so one of its main programs must have been sitting in one of those bad sectors. After removing that, everything worked fine. So. You know, if you have to do a drive image, try something like Clonezilla initially. It may work out great for you. If that doesn't work, though, and you're kind of down to the last uh, little bit, try out um, the DD Rescue one. 
but be forewarned, um, there is no prompts to verify. It's assuming when you put that line in the command line, you know what you're doing. Make sure you know which is your source drive and which is your destination. I had a buddy of mine look over my shoulder about three times while we were doing this because, like I said, didn't have any backups of the Weiss machine. Really didn't want to wipe out what was left there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something from this. Thanks, bye.